Earlier, I mentioned how nuclear fission requires you to bust an atom's nucleus apart to release energy. Now, that is radioactive decay. And alongside those neutrons, it's also emitting loads of dangerous radiation. Alpha particles, beta particles, gamma rays, they're all ionizing radiation. That is radiation that can mess with you on an atomic level. You might not feel anything happening instantaneously, but because it passes through your skin, it can damage on a cellular level. It breaks apart the chemical bonds inside your cells. So initially you'd get radiation sickness, uh, nausea, diarrhea, headache, fever, uh, but then there's a latent period or a lull, which is terrifying because you seem okay, but actually the damage has occurred down on the cellular level. Uh, it can damage right down to your bone marrow, which is uh, important for the creation of white blood cells that help fight off infections. So you are left with uh, a weakened immune system, and the only way to try and survive is staying in an isolated unit, pumping your system full of drugs, and potentially getting a bone marrow transplant, if you're very lucky, to help with new undamaged white blood cells. Gamma rays penetrate very deeply and can only be stopped by thick layers of lead, concrete, or fluids actually, like water or fuel oil. That is why this bunker is a whopping 38 metres, that's 125 feet, underground. And it's got a three metre, it's 10 feet, if anyone who likes feet, three metres of reinforced concrete all the way around. Now we're talking 40,000 tonnes of the stuff. So how come some insects, uh, cockroaches are the famous example, survive exposure to radiation while we don't? Well, it's probably because they have slower cell growth than us. Uh, the bomb on Hiroshima emitted radioactive gamma rays at a strength of about 10,000 rads. Uh, humans can only endure about 400,000 rads before death. But when one study exposed a bunch of roaches to Hiroshima-level radiation, they found that 10% were still alive a month later. Before we wrap up, it's worth noting how helpful certain types of radiation can be. Think of X-rays and CT scans, the sun's heat, and radiation that we use to treat cancer. Because radiation affects fast dividing cells more easily, it can kill off cancer cells, which divide more rapidly than many of the body's normal main cells. But um, I couldn't have thought of a better place to come and explore, or a better man to come and explore it with. So cheers, Tom. Thank you, Greg. Thanks, man. Uh, guys, if you've enjoyed this, please make sure you subscribe to Brit Lab, especially if you've come over from Tom's channel. And then please do also follow the link up there to go over and see uh, Tom's video that we've also made today. One, two, three. Thank <laughs> you.